he had a few too many drinks. So he walked and headed to Rose Hill Road. He made it to Rose Hill Road in Route 6 and out from the woods jumped the three hoodlums. They grabbed his bag. He was trying to hold it back, but he couldn't. They were screaming. He was screaming, I mean. The blue dog, his blue dog, attacked him and was barking. They picked up a rock like this and smashed the old peddler's head and took his money. But the dog was still barking, so they smashed the dog's head with the same rock. But in the confusion and net noise, they were worried that local people heard the screaming and the barking and knew there was trouble and they would get caught. So they decided they would bury the gold bag under the rock and come back the next night. Well, they did. They came back the next night, but they never got to go because the ghost of the blue dog came to my life. And this was a February night, and it was a full moon. And they say to this day, if you go back to Rose Hill Road on a full moon night in February, and you go there with a pure heart and good intentions, the ghost of the blue dog may decide to lead you to the moon. And if he does, if he doesn't, well, you didn't get the goal. In fact, that was taking place during the Revolutionary War, but there's a connection to the Civil War. Some of the troops from both sides were known to have gone exploring, looking for it, and supposedly some of them saw the ghost, but never got the gold because they must not have been there with good intentions, including some of General Joseph Hooker's troops. <laughs> so, what do you think? Should you go by Rose Hill some night in February? Yeah. You know your bus is going to pass Rose Hill Road on the way back home tonight. It won't be dark and it won't be a full moon, but who knows? Keep your eyes out for the blue dog. In fact, this past February, I got to do something for fun. I went and looked for the blue dog, but I didn't do it at the corner of Rose Hill and Route 6. I did it at the Thomas Stone House because I volunteered there, and they let me, along with their staff, do an evening program with the night hike and stargazing, although it clouded up and we couldn't see the stars. But I got to tell the story of the blue dog of Rose Hill wearing the colonial clothes with the tri-corner hat. And after the program, we hid gold coins so all the kids and adults could go look in the building and find chocolate gold coins. So everybody really did get gold that night, thanks to the park service. Well, oh, thank you. Would you guys like to hear one more story? Yes. All right, this is the curse of the mummy's coffin. Yes. Back in about 1900, the three archaeologists from England went to Egypt to find treasures at the pyramids. When they got there, they hired a local Egyptian crew and went into the pyramid down a deep, dark stairway. They got to the center, and above the door was a sign in the old language of hieroglyphics that said basically this in translation. He who enters this tomb brings to them a curse. Well, the Egyptians said, oh, no, we're out of here. We don't